is for life. Industrial. Drying processes are located in a wide variety of industrial strands. They are mainly used to prepare the product for an easier storage, to get a more efficient way of transportation, and of course, to get a longer shelf time. But however, you have to consider that the drying process bears risks, especially when it comes to explosions and fires. Now let's have a more detailed look on where those problems are hidden together with Gerrit Fixer. Drying processes have a big risk for ignition sources. These ignition sources can cause fires and dust explosions, which are a risk for the human being and also can damage the installation. Depending on the preventive measures taken, a fire can cause a loss of production of several days until the total loss of the installation. A fire is always caused by one of the known 13 ignition sources. However, analysis has shown that decomposition due to Maillard is a major contributing factor in these fires. In deposits of product lumps, for example, in the fluidized bed, in the cyclone, or at the spray nozzle, a browning reaction occurs, which we call the Maillard reaction. This is a reaction between the product components, proteins, carbohydrates, and water. Heat is produced, which cannot be dissipated due to the insulating layer of product. This is why this lump becomes so hot, it starts to glow and can ignite a fire or an explosion in the dryer or in the fluid bed. Depending on the other components in the product, this reaction produces byproducts, which can be measured to detect this reaction and take action. Product deposits are formed due to sticky product. The product makes a phase change in the dryer from very wet to about 2 to 10% moisture at the end. During this, it also goes through a sticky phase. The other alternative is when the product gets too dry, it starts melting, and that's also when it gets sticky. Nozzles and spray dryers are complex products. They have to be cleaned and assembled by hand, so failures are easily made. Also, wear is easily not to be detected when it occurs. And this can lead to lump formation around the nozzles, but also to bigger droplets that are not dried when they reach the fluid bed and create lumps there. Due to the large amount of free water, the Maillard reaction will be faster. One of the byproducts of the Maillard reaction is CO. This CO is quite well detectable, but as it is also present in our environment, it can influence our measurement. In addition, most CO detection systems have a problem detecting the difference between CO and humidity in the air. This can lead to failures in the detection a shutdown of the dryer, but also, in the worst case, to an undetected Maillard reaction, which can lead to a fire. If your product is combustible, the risk of self-ignition during spray drying must always be taken into account. To preventively reduce this risk, a precise control of your drying process is necessary. How is that even possible? Of course, with experts on your side. However, without a tool that provides precise and reliable measurement information, the process control is not possible. So what if a detection system could clearly distinguish in real time between CO content and moisture content inside of your process air, which would not only allow to do the explosion and fire prevention in a proper way, but also would allow to control your process in a very efficient way. Exactly for this task, we invented the CO detection system Rembi CO Pilot. Let's see what makes it so unique and how the magic works together with Markus Kendig. Thanks, Alex. Let me now try to explain the unique features of the Rambi CO Pilot system. To ensure high reliability, the Rambi CO Pilot uses a multi-gas analyzer, which is based on a laser absorption spectroscopy. This multi-gas analyzer is custom-made for Rambi only and it's made in Germany. The measuring range of this analyzer is from 0 to 1000 ppm, while it has a detection limit of 0.1 ppm only. 
It can measure CO and H2O gas at the same time while it's not cross-reacting to any other gases. The analyzer permanently compares the actual reading with an internal database. This serves as a digital fingerprint and it can cross out any false readings. Because we are using a laser absorption spectroscopy, there is no need for calibrating the analyzer. Furthermore, the analyzer unit only needs to be validated. Hence, to the quick response time from only two seconds, this unit will improve your process safety. Let's have a closer look to the unique gas sampling features that our new system provides. Hence, to resample the air on a very high vacuum, we are able to skip the dew point. This allows us to resign the common gas preparation. With our system, you do not need a gas cooler and you also do not need the standard peristaltic pumps. Hence, too, we can deliver the absolute humidity of the single air streams. You can increase your product output, save energy, skip cleaning cycles and increase the shell time life of your end product. Or, as we say in German, die eierlegende Wollmilchsau. As we use a single gas pump only, we are able to reduce the failure rate of the CO detection system. Let me explain you a little bit more in detail where we would place our measurement points here in this spray dryer. We would place one probe on the main dryer air intake and also one intake probe on the internal fluid bed of this spray dryer. Also, we would place two probes on the external fluid bed, one in the cold air section and one in the hot air section. Furthermore, we will place one probe on the dryer exhaust air. These probes together will all provide absolute values of the single measurement points. Out of these values, we are able to calculate the delta CO value. This delta CO value is calculated by the means of exhaust air minus inlet air. With this calculation, we are able to eliminate any influence that will enter the process from the outside. As an example, a worst case scenario can be seen here. A high amount of CO introduced in the main air intake of the spray dryer. The injected CO gas now travels through the spray dryer. It will pass the inlet air sampling probe as well as the exhaust air sampling probe. The delta CO value of this event will be 0 ppm. All influences created from the outside of the spray drying process will be eliminated. But what does this mean for you? Together with our local partners, we can provide full systems and spare parts in a competitive and relative short time. The clean design, the optimized sampling, and the way of analyzing leads to more efficiency, to a very well calibrated and stable system, and of course, to less maintenance time and costs. For annual maintenance, we are globally at your side together with our colleagues from the Rembi Advanced Services and Solutions team. Furthermore, we can help you with testing the smoldering behavior of your product. We can measure how much gases are created from your product at our Rembi Technology Center here in Brilon. Finally, it remains to say that because of the precise and reproducible measurement, false alarms and more important downtimes are avoided. In addition to that, your experts are now provided with a tool which allows them to optimize your production based on the humidity of the inlet and the exhaust air. So, if you would like to improve your safety, your sustainability and your efficiency with our CO pilot. We would be glad to be your co-pilot. Cabin crew, please be seated for takeoff. I'm going to take a shot. To improve your safety, your set. Mama, sorry. <clears throat> measures, preventive measures taken. Not one.
gitti. Şöyle. Thanks Alex. Let me now try. It. <laughs> Unique features of the Rambi CO pilot system. <laughs> 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 